Hi, Tracy here uh, with Midwest Knife Maker Supply. Today uh, we're going to talk about the Rantmaster controller and we have an Artisan 688 oven. Uh, this was an earlier prototype um, Artisan 688, so you may see some slight differences, but we're going to focus on the Rantmaster controller as compared to the Set Pro controller on this oven here. And um, so we'll get started. The on and off switch for the artisans right there. Let's wait a minute, and uh, as it goes through startup, now it's going to start flashing standby SDBY and then 86, and that's the ambient temperature as recorded inside the temperature. And there's a thermal couple back in there. Now just that'll flash alternate and to uh, give you an idea what the temperature's at. So. What we'll start is, to start a program, we'll hit the develop button. Now that's going to ask for a program number. And that can be, there's 12 slots on the Ramp Master controller. And each slot will hold 32 segments. So that's all about controlling. Uh, there's, there's 12 different recipes you can program in. And there'll be up to 32 steps in each of those uh, recipes, heat treat recipes. Now, heat treating steel is pretty straightforward and there's usually one or at most two steps um, to getting to temperature, pull it out, quench it, and you're done. Now, annealing might be a little different. Some some uh, steels call for ramping down three, four hundred degrees per hour until it reaches a certain temperature uh, from austenizing temp. But, um, for our purposes, we're just going to show simple program, typical ATS 34, 154 CM, CPM 154, that kind of thing. It's uh, showing program slot 12. Let's go ahead and pick an arbitrary slot 11, and we'll press enter. Now it's asking for how many segments we want in this program. And a segment consists of three things. It consists of a target temperature. It consists of the rate of speed to go up or down to that temperature. And then a hold time. So uh, again, a segment is how fast you want that to get to temperature, what that target temperature is, and how long you want to hold it. So let's say we're going to have two segments just for the sake of practice. And, so we'll put two in there, and we'll hit enter. Now it's asking for the ramp speed uh, one. And generally, as a rule of thumb, a knife uh, steel, you just ramp it up full speed. So now that's, that right there, it's flashing 500, and that means it's going to increase, it's going to raise temperature 500 degrees per hour until it gets to the target temperature. But again, we're going to go just as fast as we can, so we'll enter in 999. Nine. That tells the oven to heat up just as fast as you can. And our target temperature, we're going to have two steps in this just because. Let's say we want to take that to 1450 degrees, so we'll key in 1450 and press enter. Now it's asking us how long do we want to hold that temperature, and we're just going to hold it for five minutes. Again, uh, it's probably not necessary, it's, it's just something that we're doing for practice. And, uh, normally what we would do is just ramp full speed up to 1900, 1950 degrees for this based on the recipe that you're using. I tend to heat treat um, CPM 154 to 1950, plate quench, and then uh, cryo treat, and then two follow-up tempers. Uh, so here it's showing it's flashing at one hour. So we're going to hit zero, kind of reset that, and... and uh, now we're just going to have it hold for 10 minutes. Let's say I didn't want to do that. We want to back up. I made a mistake. We're back to the temperature again. And um, instead of 1450, I just had a, I, oh, let's change that to 1400. And there we go. So now it's telling us to hold it again for one hour. We don't want to do that. We just want to hold it for five minutes. So we hit enter. Now that first segment is done. We had a target temperature, we had a hold time, we had how fast we want to ramp up. Now it's asking for the second segment. Let's take it all the way to 1950 degrees, just as fast as we can get there. So we will go 9999, enter, and our target temperature is 1950 degrees Fahrenheit. 
We hit enter. No, we just want to soak that for 20 minutes. It's a thin piece of steel. We don't have to worry about soaking it for uh, X amount of time per inch thickness. It's only, let's just say our knife is 3 16 thick and 25 minutes will be absolutely plenty for that. Now what it's telling us is what target, what time do you, or temperature do you want the alarm to go off at? And this has two built-in alarms. It has one alarm for when it hits the target temperature that we're going to program in right now, 1950. And now the program is showing complete. What's going to end it will go back to standby and we'll turn that back on in just a second. But more on that alarm, there's two alarms in these Ramp Masters. The one we programmed in just now and that shows what temperature do we want that alarm to go off at. So this oven right now will heat up as fast as it can go to 1450 degrees. It'll hold that for five minutes. Then again, when, when that's done, it's going to heat up uh, further to 1950 degrees. The alarm will go off telling you it's hit that austenizing temperature, that hardening temp. Then the soak time will begin. And we put the soak time for 25 minutes. And when that soak time is done, a second alarm will go off. And we'd be here, presumably, or we'd hear the alarm and come out and, and take it out of the oven and quench it, whether it be oil, air, or plate quench. Okay, uh, we turned the oven back off. And now we're going to turn it back on. We'll let it initialize again. And just to make sure that uh, showing standby, now the temperature inside the chamber is up to 144 degrees while we were off camera. I was cycling on and off and, and trying out some different settings. So the oven temperature now is up to 149. Um, let's take a look at what program we're in. I happen to know we're not in the program that we're in, so we would take a view. And uh, that's showing a totally different program than what we had in there. In fact, it's a tempering program that I put in in program memory slot one. Well, we set up our test program in slot 11. So now what we're going to want to do is uh, reset that. So we'll hit the stop. There's a button right there, recall, and let's key in 11 and enter. Now we're in program memory slot. The chamber's still warming up, but that's residual heat um, coming out of the muff. So we'll hit uh, view and you'll see we have two segments, ramp speed, full speed to 1400, hold it for five minutes, ramp speed again, full speed, hold it at 1950, hold that for 25 minutes, see an alarm at 1950 degrees and we're ready to go. So at this point um, we would hit run, enter, and the program, you'll hear the servo uh, relay click on, just like there. And that will start to cycle through, and the program is now running. And um, you'll hear that relay click on and off throughout the entire program uh, heat, heat cycle. And uh, you'll see the temperature rises inside of this oven uh, pretty quick. Uh, and when it gets to 1400 degrees, it will hold that temperature for five minutes, then it will resume its climb. When it hits 1950 degrees, there's going to be the first alarm. That will tell you the target temperature was hit, and then you'll have a soak time of 25 minutes. And when that's complete, the second alarm, the complete, uh, the end of uh, program alarm will go off, and that's when you would come take it out and quench it. And that's basically what you'll do with the entire Ramp Master control. If you wanted to, and I don't know why you would do this in knife steel, certainly you wouldn't, but in enameling, uh, artists that are using enamels or ceramics, that kind of thing, might open the oven up and look at their temperature cones. A cone measures heat work. It doesn't measure the actual temperature. And they might peek inside the oven if they're working with a new clay mixture, enamel mixture, and take a peek inside the oven, look at their, their cones and see that uh, maybe they need to add a little bit of time and so they would hit the add time button. Maybe they needed to warm it up a little bit and they would hit the add temp button. Knife steel making is very precise. It's all been documented very closely. You wouldn't go add time, you wouldn't go add temperature. So those buttons really aren't of any use in the Ramp Master environment. 
skip ahead again might be something for an enamelist, uh, a glass maker, ceramic, that kind of thing. If they look inside and see their cones are, are bent over and, and at temp, they might skip ahead to the next segment and cut that, that program a little short. Um, now there's other buttons on the Even Heat Ramp Master. Um, the Express Mode has no use in any uh, application for the Even Heat. It's just simply an extra uh, uh, key option that's not used. Scroll, you would scroll through if you're in the menu. You could scroll through all the different commands that were available and so on. Back would, uh, we, we demonstrated the use of the back key. If you're programming something in and you need to go backwards, you just hit that and take you back just a, a, a step in the keystroke so you could fix a missed key or key over, something like that. So that's the uh, Ratmaster 3 controller. My name is Tracy McLean. Uh, I'm from Midwest Knife Maker Supply. Stop by our website at usanifemaker.com. Also visit our knife forums at knifedogs.com. Thanks for your time. Have a good day.